I know I'm not the only one who's a little fed up with the Instagram algorithm. So today I wanted to show you how to create an Instagram video with Photoshop. Now, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my weekly videos for more design and business tips. I am using Adobe Creative Cloud, so it's the most recent version of Photoshop. If you have an older version, it should probably still work. It's just that the buttons might be in a different place or you know something like that. So the first thing we wanna do is create a new document. It needs to be 1080 wide by 920 high, 300 resolution so it's crystal clear, and then make sure it's RGB so that the colors look correct on screen. First thing we wanna do is go up to the toolbar, select window, and then show the timeline. So this is gonna be our animation timeline. So I'm going to select create frame animation, and then over here on this little menu bar, select convert to video timeline. This will make it a lot easier to animate elements within the video. So for this, the first thing I'm gonna do is just add some text. Now, if you ever want to center something in the canvas, you can drag the element and when you see the pink vertical line, that tells you it's centered on the canvas. Then I'm going to add a second text box for the blog post title. And just like any other Photoshop document, you can always adjust the fonts, colors, sizes, any of that fun stuff. Now you can see here down at the bottom, this is our timeline. These purple boxes are all showing the same length and at the same time. So I'm going to drag these elements out a little bit and then I want to move some items so they don't appear all at the same time. You can drag the beginning or the end of the element to either shorten or lengthen it. Now if I click on this little white arrow, this will actually allow me to animate the text so it doesn't just pop on screen, it can actually fade into the screen. So I'm going to click here and make sure this is off screen and then move my cursor to where I want it to show on screen. And then I wanna do the same for the actual blog post title. Move it off screen, move the cursor, move it on screen. And these little triangles are the keyframes that show me when an action is going to take place. So now I'm gonna move my cursor back to the beginning and click play. And when you're ready to export, click this little arrow down in the very left hand corner now in this render video box, you can name your file, select where you want to export, and be sure you are exporting all frames. Now the last step is actually getting it to yourself so you can actually upload it on Instagram. So I just texted it to myself and there it is on my Instagram. I can do that with the Messages app because I'm on an Apple computer and I have an iPhone. If you don't have that, you can also just do it via Dropbox or Google Drive and have the app on your phone and on your computer. So there you go, a really easy way to kind of kick up your Instagram stories a notch. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments and I will see you in the next video.